Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're going to be showing you the best way to rob passenger trains and you're going to make quite a bit of money with this method and you won't even have to deal with the law. Now, like any good heist, you need to do some planning. So there's a couple things that you're going to want to make sure you have. You're going to want to make sure you bring at least eight sticks of dynamite just to be safe because we're going to need to be breaking open safes with that that are on the train. Now, another thing you're going to need to do is make sure you bring some changes of clothing. Now, you can actually rob towns without getting a bounty by basically wearing things that they've never seen you wear before and by wearing a mask. That way they won't be able to identify you. So I'm actually going in with an outfit I have never worn before. And we're going to start off with this outfit. And then we get to the one location, we're going to switch to another outfit. So you can go ahead and save uh, as many different outfits as you want. I usually run around in this outfit. And then I'm going to be using this particular outfit with a mask on when we go to rob the actual uh, train. Now, the reason we're going to be switching is just to potentially offset any bounties that we may get. Because possibly you may actually get a bounty doing this, but nobody from the train will actually be able to escape. And the lawman will not be able to get you. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to any town and get a ticket to Riggs Station. And we're going to make a ton of money. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is bring a different horse. This is why I say it's good to have quite a few different horses. Now, we got Arclight here, but we're not going to use Arclight. We stole a horse the other day, and we haven't really used it. And I believe it's this horse right here. Now, we're just going to need to switch saddles real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and take that train to Rig Station. Now, basically, once you get prepped for this, you can do this as many times as you want. It's easy to farm it. Even if we do happen to get a bounty, it's not going to matter because we're going to make enough money that the bounty really isn't going to matter and you shouldn't get a lot. Now, we changed horses and clothes because we're going to we want to basically stand as much of a chance of not getting a bounty as possible. Now let's go ahead and go in here and we're going to get that ticket to Riggs. It should cost a couple bucks depending on where you are. But all in all, once we get to Riggs, we're going to want to do something pretty cool. All right, here. Now once we're at Riggs Station, we're going to get right off the train here. I think we just got pickpocketed by somebody. We just lost a whole bunch of money. Or no, we didn't actually. Sorry, I spent a whole bunch of money on clothes. I got pickpocketed earlier for like $400. But we're going to go ahead and go to our horse real quick. And um, we're going to switch clothes. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and switch to our saved custom outfit too. Now, once we've done this, we're going to go ahead and put on our mask. And we have plenty of time because we have to do something. We have to jump on top of the train before it goes. We're going to go ahead and use the Executioner Hood here. And then we're going to climb up this little tower and we're going to wait until the train starts to go. You don't want to jump on the train before it starts to leave because you will instantly get a bounty. We're going to wait here patiently until the train starts to move. Now that the train's getting ready to move, we're going to go ahead and just jump right up onto it. We're going to go ahead and squat here. Now, what we're going to do is we need to stop the train on the bridge that is just over here. So let's go ahead and start running up the train here real quick. And we want to stop the train about on the middle of the tracks. Oh, somebody actually reported the crime. That hasn't actually happened before, but nobody should actually recognize us. So we should still be okay. Usually the crime doesn't get reported until we're in the middle of the bridge, but this should still be perfectly fine because we're gonna be in the middle of this bridge and the lawmen are gonna be stuck below us. So let's go ahead and get this train stopped. We're gonna drive the train, we're gonna knock him off the edge, and then we're gonna hit R1 to brake and decelerate the train. There we go. So far, so good. Now we got a bunch of people and now that the train is stopped, we can go ahead and kill pretty much everybody on this train. Well, all the people that are trying to kill us at least. We don't want to really kill the passengers. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. Ah! 
wish I brought a long rifle. Is there a guy out here? There is. What are you doing back here? All right, so there's one more at the end. Where'd he go? There he is. All right, so now the crime might have been reported, which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and get these down. Sometimes there's some witnesses below this, but none of the passengers will run away and none of the lawmen will actually be able to come get you. So they were able to recognize us so that we've got a uh, bounty on us. But now what we want to do is we want to basically just rob as much of this train as possible. We got a bounty of $50 so far. I've gotten this done with a bounty of less than 50 bucks, but it's just a matter of time. Now, all of these cabinets here don't have anything worth your time. What we really want to be robbing is the chests and then the, obviously the passengers as well. The chest has a hair tonic in it. Sometimes there's a gold nugget, uh, but more often than not, it's probably the hair tonic. Now, the reason you want the dynamite is because we can use the dynamite to open these safes. What you want to do is you want to hit the left trigger to ignite the dynamite and then hit the right trigger to stick the dynamite to the wall and then you can ignite it after that. Now obviously you're going to want to run away from this dynamite so it doesn't blow you up. And you see all the lawmen are stuck below us. So we have as much time as we want to be able to loot this train and there we go so we got a bill fold in here so we got 20 bucks there go ahead and search this cabinet so that didn't have a lot of stuff in it but we're gonna go ahead and just search as much of this train as humanly possible sometimes it depends on rng obviously the amount of passengers in the train and the amount of stuff in the lock boxes and the safes is going to dictate how much you make per run but all in all at the end of the day this is the best way to rob the train so we're just going to kind of take our time here uh grab the things that we want obviously blow up all the safes there's three in each of these passenger car trains Hit the left trigger to ignite the dynamite, right trigger to turn it off, and then stick it to something, and then triangle to ignite it again. Obviously, run out of the way. And every time we blow something up, it increases our bounty, which is kind of dumb. But regardless, let's go ahead. There we go. We got uh, another money clip in here. There we go. Coin purse. Looks like there's another coin purse there in the corner. I don't know if we can actually grab that one. No, we can't. Sometimes there's a lot of really nice stuff in those safes. It is all up to RNG. There we go. We got a nice corn purse in there. We got a gold nugget once. There we go. Now we want to actually rob all the passengers. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, depending on the train, some of these trains will have a lot of passengers. I like to kind of rob the midday and night trains. They have a little bit more. This one's early in the morning. Just take it. Most of these passengers are going to have, I don't know, anywhere from 8 to $15 per passenger. There we go. That's nine bucks and a silver chain bracelet. There we go. And we're just going to keep looking for anything else that we can rob. Now, our horse is going to be at the end of the track. Sometimes it'll actually follow the train all the way down. Uh, just be careful. Sometimes your horse will jump off the edge, and I had that happen once, and then you just got to run down to the other side. Ooh, 11.16. Nice. Of course, take anything. Just don't hurt me. What the hell are you waiting for? Okay, take it. Now, unfortunately, you will lose quite a bit of honor doing this, but if you're robbing trains, you're probably not worried about honor at this point in time. Anyways. Don't do this. I All beg right. you. Hand over your money now. Yeah, just take it. All right, so for some, there we go. That one didn't, almost didn't register. Got a gold pocket watch. Nice. Now, after this, we're going to have you to go ahead and go to the fence to get the maximum yours. amount of money. It's yours. There we go. We should be finishing this up with about a $70 bounty. Okay, okay, take it. Hurry up or I swear. Here, take it. Now, oh, God damn it. I have this. Just take it. You gonna 
Is it going to register? Uh, sometimes it doesn't register. It's a little bit of a glitch. Now in this last train car here, oh, our horse did something stupid. It ran down. It should be coming back up now, though. All right, so there's going to be one more safe back here. Hopefully this one has a little bit better stuff. Go ahead and find out. Left trigger, right trigger to stick. And then ignite. Get out of the way. Oh, glitches. Ooh. That was close. Oh, so bounty's at 70 bucks now. What did we get in this here, in this safe? Oh, nothing, just a pocket watch. So we didn't get a, we really didn't get lucky on this train, unfortunately. We got premium cigarettes down here, nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and check the last car. And our horse did in fact do something dumb. It's all right. Canned salmon, herbivore bait. And this last part here, there's usually some good stuff in this desk. There we go, nice money clip. Search this top drawer. Alright, nothing there. Uh, we'll go ahead and check the wardrobe. There we go. We got some jewelry in here. Nice. Two gold earrings. Not too bad. Alright. So, now basically all we gotta do is just escape the coppers, and we'll be good to go. If your horse didn't run below, uh, you'd be able to ride it away, but since it did, uh, basically all we gotta do is just run to the edge over here. Now you can spend as much time as you want making sure that you get everything out of the train. But all in all, making sure you get the safes is really what you need to do. Now our horse is coming to get us, but... Oh, our horse is actually right behind us. Don't jump off the edge, Holmes. There we go. And we are free. We're going to go ahead and head to the fence and uh, see what our total take was. Now, once we run away, we're going to switch clothes again, so that way we don't look the same way we did when we robbed the train. And, uh, yeah, all is good with the world. Now, I have a couple options for the fence you can go to. You can go to the, fe the fence in Emerald Ranch or the one in St. Dennis. And you can actually just go right back to Rig Station, take a train down to either fence, and then literally take the train back to Rig Station and do it again. You can farm this back and forth. Let's go ahead, we're at the fence in uh, Emerald Ranch, and we're gonna go ahead and sell the stuff that we got. Now I was full on my inventory on a few of these things, so you didn't actually see me get them, but we did get, uh, you will get three gold watches, pretty much guaranteed, so that is $30 there. Now you're going to get the silver pocket watches out of there as well, and we got uh, 24 of these bad boys. Oh yes. And then we got, uh, let's see here, uh, we actually ended up with three of the platinum spring bracelets, which would really be uh, just shy of $30. So let's go ahead and just sell one, two, three. And then we got the two gold earrings here. Pick this up off the and then we're also no going to get these platinum necklaces, which sell for $10 a piece. Let's go ahead and sell. We actually got one of those Plus during the heist. Huh? And then we're going to get, obviously, gold wedding rings, which are sell for $5 a piece. Let's oh, go ahead and sell yes. these bad boys. People lose these all the time. And then we're going to get these silver chain bracelets and stuff like that as well. So all of this is going to add up as you're doing all of this. We got two silver chain bracelets in the middle of that, which are going to sell for another $10. Well, there we go. So at the end of the day, we started off with $3,664 and then ended with $3,948. Now we're going to have to go ahead and pay off that $70 bounty, which is going to bring our total earnings for that run to $214. Now that is really not bad. That is a good return on investment. And that was actually the worst train that I have robbed so far you're gonna make anywhere between 200 to 500 dollars per run and if you're doing it by taking the train back and forth you can rob it as many times as you want and it's gonna get you a ton of money very quickly we're gonna just gonna go ahead and pay off our bounty but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you found it useful don't forget to share your support and uh hit that like button for me 
I would greatly appreciate it. It really helps out. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.